What's up everybody? We are back in the world of Deponia and uh, on our last video Rufus got majorly cock blocked by his old man uh, The whole switcheroo thing that he pulled which was kind of you can kind of see it coming uh, when everything was going on with the dialogue, but uh, Yeah, then it got like brutal like oh my god poor Rufus between goal and uh, Seagull here just kind of ripping into him. It's like jeez and like Stabbed him with a screwdriver or something. But, um, one thought. We know that he went ahead and got one of his own little radio transmitter doohickeys. Uh, and was apparently going to use something to, I don't know, that's how the whole warp logic was. So, at the end of the last video, I wanted to basically get even with these guys. So now what we've got to do is get even with this bastard. Uh, and I think the best way to do that is, you see this lonely uh, SOB behind the counter here? I think if we give him the ring. Hey, you know about poetry, right? Sure thing. One of my platypus poems even made it to page three of the Platypus Daily. I see I've come to the right place. Here. Watch this. Radio? Oh, yeah. You'll need it. It's uh, a romantic matter. Platypus romance or human romance? <laughs> it's starting. I have prepared something very special for you. The icing on the cake. A poem in your honor. Uh-oh. Okay, here we go. The poem. Pardon me? <clears throat> the poem. <clears throat> go ahead. That was your cue. Oh, oh, <laughs> I've got just the thing. Give it your all. You are cuter than a batty wuss. <laughs> You look just like a platypus? Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Oh, yuck. What? Hey! What the? Wait! You were right, Rufus. Seagull is an idiot. It was very noble of you to try and warn me about him. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> I owe you an apology, Rufus. Your foster father may act all sophisticated, but in reality, he is nothing but a subilluminated cerebral pygmy. Yeah, just without the stripes. Now all I have to do is persuade your two other aspects. I'm sure you will find a way. And I should know. The others are a part of me, after all. To tell oh. you the truth. I liked you right from the start. You are a lot like Cletus, but you have a real backbone, and you aren't such a sissy. That's true, uh, but don't tell him I said that. I had better stay here until you manage to persuade the other two. I must admit that I'm actually a little jealous. Totally weird, isn't it? Wait, I am totally confused. So, like, a switch just went off in her brain, and now she's all, like, into Rufus. Hey, not gonna argue with it. I like the extra squeaking noises as he was grabbing her ass, but, uh, you know, no, it's just, whatever. Anyways, uh, so, do, do, do. Hello, Rufus. Making any progress? Not I really. don't want to rush you, but I think the mold and fungi on the bar are up to something. I know, I know. You're used to better environments. But don't you think you're exaggerating just a bit? They're flocking together, whispering. So what? <laughs> they probably also think you're hot. Heaven help me. For a moment, I actually thought that was sweet. Please hurry. Wow. Okay. Um. Well, we don't know anything about baby or spunky goal yet. So... I know I can do that. Yes, remember. Let's, let's just go ahead and uh, skip through that and let's pick one, shall we? Let's zap her. Um, baby goal? Yeah, let's go with the baby. This ought to be fun. See, I must have nodded off for a moment. No problem. As long as you didn't have any direct skin contact with the bar, that is. <laughs> You're funny. Oh, jeez. Okay, so what do we need to do oh, for her? Oh, it's you! How nice! Yes. Um... You have to come with me and see Doc. Oh my gosh. Am I sick then? No, you... Oh dear. 
I can feel it now. Oh, jeez. I think I'm running a fever. No, no, you're you're not sick. Um, my quick mum. Look and tell me if my uvula is swollen. Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> Will you listen to me? You're not sick. Oh, what a relief. And here I was thinking I had to see Doc. But you, you, you do have to see Doc. Oh my gosh, am I sick then? <sighs> oh god, then we go around this in is a circle. Be one of those days. <laughs> Rufus. Um, can you Can't you remember anything? Well, yes, you are Rudy. Rufus. Oh, this is exhausting. My head feels as if a burning saw blade hit me in the temple. Uh, you obviously can't remember anything at all. That makes it even more important for you to go see Doc. Oh, you're probably right. You're such a good friend, Rudy. <laughs> sure. sure. So, are you coming? <laughs> There's no time to lose. We need to prevent the Organon from blowing up Deponia. Wait, wait. Did I hear that right? You're planning to stop the Organon? Don't tell me you're with those resistance fruitcakes. Resistance? Okay. What are you talking about? What do you think? Janosh and his people, who else? Janosh? I told him a thousand times that I won't have any conspiratorial meetings in my bar. First, they're all death to the Organon. And then I end up having to scrape peanut chips out of the jukebox. Did you hear that, Rufus? A real resistance movement. I heard it. How terribly exciting. But the really <laughs> important thing is that we're both headed to Doc now. We're going to fix your brain and... We can't do that now. No. We need to join the resistance. Oh, I, yes. Yeah, what? I know where this is going. <sighs> Janosh, Janosh. What's up with that Janosh? That's what I would like to know. No, that was a rhetorical question. Janosh is the leader of the Resistance. You keep raving about him. Really? He must be quite a daredevil. Oh, good grief. <laughs> okay. Uh, da, 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 da. What do I have, to, what do I have to do to make you come along? I don't know. Can you do magic? Of course. Yes. I'm really good at making objects disappear. Ooh. Um, too bad we haven't got time for that. We need to join the resistance, uh. just like Janosh. Oh, is this really necessary? Oh, please. Oh my God. Oh, oh, all right, but then we'll go see Doc. Of course, a true resistance fighter will go anywhere. Okay. No second. Hey, baby. baby. Are you talking to me? <laughs> okay. I give up. What are you giving up? No, it doesn't doesn't matter. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Wait okay. here. I'll be right back. Yay! <sighs> so now it looks like we get to go on another roundabout adventure. First it was the damn platypus, and now we have to join the resistance. <sighs> Alright, well we know the guy up top there. He won't talk to me or give me the bathroom key without beating him at um, rock, paper, scissors, I think was the deal. If I recall correctly, let's go find out just to be sure. May I bother you again? And you're gonna do that anyway. <laughs> Got a point there. What up? Uh, You're part of a resistance movement, or so I've heard. Who said that? That's top secret information. Sorry, didn't know that. And the others don't seem to be clear on the concept either. Then please tell them. We can't have everyone broadcasting my secrets. <laughs> May I join you? Why not? May I join you? Impossible. Why? Could be an Organon spy. But yeah. how are you going to fight the Organon if you don't recruit new members? <laughs> Through passive resistance. Meaning you do nothing? But we do. We constantly hatch new plans about how we can resist even more passively. Sometimes <laughs> we even don't say a bad word about the Organon for weeks. That's how passive we are. Wow. The Prime Controller is going to blow a fuse when he finds out. Wow. Okay. Please let me join you. I want to impress a woman. You think that would work? Of course. Women go for courageous men. Men who have the courage to use a filthy bathroom in a pub. Yeah, I, I, was, I was thinking of the kind of courage you need to join a good cause. Hey, but I'm already doing that. Here, take this bathroom oh. key to Gulliver. Perfect. I no longer need it. Okay. I'll be off then. See you around. 
I guess I don't have to rock, paper, scissor thing. Let's go to the bathroom. Ugh, locked. What do you mean? I got the key. I guess I have to manually take the key and click the door. All right. Did it just get colder in here? Ah, what is that? Oh, ah, oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Anything but that. Take it away. Take it away. Ah, <laughs> not Cold this space. agony. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything okay, kid? Uh, I've been in worse tavern bathrooms. It's just, uh, I heard these noises, and let's just <laughs> say the toilet paper could be softer. You don't have to play the tough guy for me, kid. I've been in there before, and I know the toilet paper. I feel your pain. By the way, you got a piece stuck to your foot, and you should remove it before someone sees. They would, uh, they wouldn't understand. <laughs> And then he goes and he puts it right into his uh, coat again. Excuse me? Hmm? You again? I would really love to join you. I would really love to join you. Don't be ridiculous. What could you possibly have to offer? Uh, I'm so gr I think we've been through all these. What was that you wanted me to do to prove I'm reckless enough? Shave Donna's... cat? No, no, no. I told you not to shave Donna's cat. That'd be extremely dangerous and stupid. Ha <laughs> ha! Danger is my middle name. And stupid is my, uh, um, hmm. Don't try to stop me. <laughs> All right. I'll soon be... Okay, get, get me out of here. I'll get... Get me out of here. All right. Uh, so what should I do next? I think we gotta get out of here no matter what we do. Something tells me we're gonna have to shave a cat. Could be a little awkward. Alright, so what do I wanna do here? Do I wanna do anything here? To the pharmacist, I guess, because that's the only option. You who? What? Where? Do you have like razors I could buy or something? I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? Uh, plus five healing potions. So, where do I get a coupon for a free cucumber? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. I suppose I took the last copy with me to the men's room in Gulliver's Tavern. Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, nothing. You get what you... Hold on. See you later. Uh... I have a thought. Since he's blind, he's not going to be able to tell that this is toilet paper and not the coupon. So, can I get away with this? Is this a prescription? May I touch? At least it seems to be written in Braille. Although the writing is a little smeared, but it isn't Ew. a prescription. Darn, I was so sure this time. Wait a minute, this is one of my coupons. Where did you find it? <laughs> it was under his nose the whole time. With this, you get a free sample of my latest shipment. Alright then. Cucumus Agneto, the cucumber of revelation. Neat. It's so new that there aren't any studies on medium or long-term after effects. Cool. <laughs> so what can I do with this? Can the I eat it? Cucumber of revelation. Hey, I think I actually just had an inspiration. You should never trust a blind man or he'll fob the worst crap off on you. <laughs> uh, all right, get me out of here. What am I even trying to accomplish at this point? <sighs> I need to join the resistance. I need to do something reckless. 
And I'm just kind of at a point where I'm not entirely sure how to proceed. Like, it's not very clear. You know, other... I don't know, like, the I, I mentioned this in, in quite a few videos so far, like, the first Eponia game, you kind of figured out where you were going or what you were doing. You know, it was fairly... I don't want to say simple, but you never really got lost. Uh, no, no, no. What's Little Venice? That's the place that has the glove, the tournament hand. But we can't get in here because the dude's going to come up and yell at us. Yep, there it is. Right. You again? I, 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 I don't. Let's go ahead and skip everything that he's got going on. I feel like I'm being watched. Can I or do I have anything I can put on this? Oh no, I can't while someone's watching. Uh, I need to get his attention elsewhere then, huh? Hmm. Maybe we could put the lint on the cucumber, dress it up, or something. I don't want it to get it. There's already enough lint from. <sighs> a weapon shop? I don't remember that. Tell me more. Oh, yeah, okay, I remember being here. Can I go inside? Never been in here before. Religious nuts? You just don't get it, do you? If you want to meet your maker, keep it up, and I'll help you on your way. <laughs> Whoa! What the? Who are you? How you doing? I would like a knife. What we got to offer. I think I lost my way. Yeah, I right. would like a knife. In your gut or in your eye? You can have both. Wow. Do you think that's the smartest way to treat a potential customer? You? A potential customer? Ha! Just look at you! You should be glad I haven't shot you yet! With the <laughs> emphasis on yet! Well then... <laughs> what have you got on offer? My specialty today is cuts and stab wounds for obnoxious visitors! Holy crap on a cracker! <laughs> I think I lost my way. All right, all right. Yeah, I think so too. But I've got good news for you. It's not gonna happen anymore in the future. Because then I'll know my way around? Because you won't be able to walk, that's why. Jesus, all right, get out of here. <laughs> Run. I'll, uh... <clears throat> yeah, don't even think about bugging me again. WTF, man. Holy cow. That is one psycho. All right, well, let's try something else, I guess. No, I've been here before. Where haven't we been in a while? Mm, to the harbor, I guess. Mm. I don't know what we can do in the tavern. Is there anything else on the docks? I'm just kind of wandering at this point, guys. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Maybe the gadget shop sells something to shave a cat? I'm assuming the shaving a cat is something that needs to happen. Since it keeps getting brought up. Oh. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat 2000. How may I help you? Uh, are you a robot? Why is the pedestal over there empty? It is not empty. What you cannot see there is the golden dragon of invisibility, the most powerful gadget on Deponia. Oh, really? Golden dragon of invisibility 
It may be hard to believe, but it is really there. A beautiful object, lavishly ornamented, and its powers are beyond imagination. But touching it is absolutely prohibited. I think I can only just hold myself back. Very much appreciated. Okay. Now I must click it. Whatever I'll it just is, be I must click it. Playing the lottery, all you need. Huh, the lotto map doesn't seem to understand my system. Yeah, okay. Can I click the golden dragon? Of I am very sorry, sir, but the golden dragon of invisibility is not a floor model. I didn't even touch it. I just wanted to, to stretch my fingers and... Uh, um. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Seem to be fighting a little bit of a cold again, but uh, what can I do here? Hmm... Hmm. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shao yeah, 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 yeah. How may I help you? Okay. Tell me about Are you a design. robot? The gadgeteer constructed me so I could help him run the shop. Smart move. Where is he now? <laughs> this information is irrelevant. I am completely autonomous. I see. I see, I see. I wonder what became of the Gadgeteer. We have no idea. We have been looking for him for months. <laughs> we? Yes, we are very worried about him, his wife, and I. Wait, what? <laughs> so, the Gadgeteer is married? Yes. Camilla is a wonderful lady. I am with her every day, lending her support. Oh my god. <laughs> These must be hard times for her. She should not grieve for a husband who left her in the lurch. She should just look ahead. Wow. Okay. People are so unreliable, aren't they? That is what I have been telling Camilla for months. <laughs> She's By now, up. she thinks I am right. Robots are so much more reliable, she says. Jeez. Okay. What kind of things do you sell here? <laughs> At Gilligan's Gadget Garden, it's we so offer funny. the most amazing equipment in all of Deponia. Go ahead and browse at your leisure. You are welcome to try out a few gadgets. But please remember to put back the merchandise before you leave the shop. But of course, what do you take me for? My CPU has calculated an 86% probability of an imminent attempt at shoplifting. What? <laughs> no, <laughs> now that's outrageous. Based on what? It's gonna be 100%. Based on several factors. The way you are dressed, for example. Well then, you... I'll yes. just be on my way then. Please come again soon. Right. Hey, look. Here goes nothing. Sucks. <laughs> it's upside down. Uh oh. Um. Um. Indestructible sunglasses, huh? Can we put I don't those need on the a revelation cucumber? for that. I can just try combining everything with everything else. Yeah, that'll work. Well, can I put them on? Can I put them in the lotto mat? I don't need any more equipment. All I need is and my infallible. Yeah, I don't need it all. Uh, can I stick it on this? No, it's already perfect. At least I assume so. This device only straightens bananas, which is already useful enough. Um, sounds awkward. <laughs> I am very sorry, sir. The destruction of sample items is not permitted. I'm not doing that, because according to the label, these sunglasses are indestructible. That is correct. Well then. <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, I think they're very much destructed. An excellent choice, sir. Ha! Huh. Indestructible? No way. It's broken. And I'm sure you don't have to pay for samples that break when you try them on. Or, uh, or what? Will you be paying by cash or organ donation? Oh, I <laughs> see. They aren't broken after all. <laughs> My mistake. Ah, oh, darn it. <laughs> oh, a clue would be just a ticket. <laughs> cash or organ donation. All right. Um. This device, which is already... Straightens bananas. How about a cucumber? Will it straighten a cucumber? This device, which nope. is already right. useful enough. Uh, what am I going to do with broken glasses at this point? Hmm. Oh, I can pick up the hat. An excellent choice. Please do not forget to return. Okay, shut up and let me put on the hat. Nice. Aw. <laughs> Goal is bound to be impressed. <laughs> um, it's a juicer hat. Can we juice the cucumber? Oh, cucumber of revelation. Reveal your wisdom to me. Apparently, yes. <laughs> oh, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. <laughs> See? As good as new. <laughs> Uh, I like this robot. I also like how uh, Rufus is tripping. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Ingenious. I just have to convince this tin can to wear the glasses, and then, um, yeah, whatever. Something really clever. Okay. Well, let's not mess with that. Let's talk to him well, again. God, you are. How may I? I want to. God, these indestructible sunglasses of eternal darkness are a total ripoff. Please explain the reason for your dissatisfaction. Well, they're broken. May I please have a look at the defective merchandise? Here, just like I said. What a piece of junk. Those are only scratches. The glasses are completely functional. <laughs> See? As good as new. Stop acting cute. The glasses are broken. Excuse me. Where are you? I cannot see you at all. This indestructible high-end gadget is obstructing my view. What an overwhelming experience. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Best robot that thing ever. sure has some nerve. Okay. Hey, good news. Yoink. Uh, um. Did you clear your throat? But you can't see what I'm doing. Or are the sunglasses broken? Certainly not. The sunglasses function perfectly. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Super. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> now that I have removed this fully functional item, may I politely inquire what you are doing over there? Well, I'm, I'm just uh, admiring your, your golden dragon of invisibility. It's really pretty. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> uh. Whoa. <laughs> it works. I'm invisible. <laughs> woo. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Ow. What an idiot. Can we take the glasses again? Yep. <laughs> uh, I tried to talk to the robot, but it's taking me back outside. <laughs> I sure fooled him. No, oh, I want to be invisible. I want to go mess with people. 
the hell did that even account? Well, I have the invisibility thing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I know what to do now. With the invisibility thing. Okay. This way. No, wait. Ah, dang it. Actually, guys, this seems like a really good spot to call it. Uh, where to next is where that periscope is at. Uh, down here. And now that I have both the glasses and the invisibility, I should be able to get in there and see what's inside there. So that should be kind of fun. Uh, we'll be doing that on the next video. I thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.